morning. So Molly's not here today, so I'm Craig. If you've not watched before, I'm Craig. We've got Rob on camera. This is a very quick one today. Um, a, to test a new internet thing that we've got. To reconnect. Uh, I think we're back. So as I was okay. saying, <laughs> we're testing a new internet thing today. So um, we just thought we'd come on, do a quick live just to see if the internet's working, how far we can go. But also to talk about the BSA, because the BSA has only got 19 tickets left um, as of the start of this video. So we thought, it's pr I think it'll probably sell out. The live is, um, is later on today, four o'clock. Um, so we'll have a quick look at the BSA. If you've got any questions on anything that you see in here, so we're just preparing the classic lounge at the moment. Um, is the internet working all right? Yeah, so Excellent. far so, so good. Working. So yeah, if you've got any questions or comments or any cars you want to see, everything in here is a competition car at some stage. Some of it you may not have seen before. Um, so if you've got any questions, if you want to look at anything closer up. I really like the Zephyr though. Stunning. This is my favourite competition car at the moment, I think. So we bought this a couple of weeks ago from auction. Um, didn't realise how incredibly good the condition of this was. We actually met the chap who um, restored this. We were at the auction and um, we paid the money and then just happened to say, oh, it's the person who owns this here. Um, it turns out... He's a young lad and he restored this. It was his pride and joy. He's moved on to, the only reason he sold it is he's moved on to something else. I think he does it as a bit of a hobby. Um, but he is a mechanic. He specializes in gearboxes actually. He works for a gearbox company and this was sort of his pride and joy. It took a few years to build and he just sort of said he wants to move on to the next project. So that's why he put this one in auction. And I tell you what, it is absolutely incredible. We lifted it up on the ramp. Because normally you buy a car in um, and there's, there's often something that needs to be done. Um, so far on this one, nothing needs to be done. Um, I think he said the wiper motor is a little bit slower than it should be, but other than that, it's absolutely spot on. Yeah, so You always know a car's good when the technicians come up and ask you to take photos of it. Of course, they're so much of a perfectionist. And like, oh, I would have done it this way, I would yeah. have done it that way. But with this, Steve came upstairs and was like, it's as close to perfect as you're going to get. Even the really. underneath. I yeah, mean, it's like it's never been on a road. I think I posted some photos of the underneath on socials. Um, a few days ago, and it was mm. just—it looks brand new. So I think this will go well. So this isn't—we haven't even shot this one yet. We're going to try and probably do something quite nice, photo shoot-wise for this. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be a future competition car. What else have we got in here? The Celica is a bit of an unusual one from our point of view. So this is a GT4, probably more modern than we're used to doing. But we kind of want to drop in the occasion. We've got quite a few moderns, what we would consider moderns at the moment. Um, but this is more unusual for us for moderns. Jags, Astons, things like that we've done before. Um, but the Jap stuff, we haven't really done much. Uh, but because this is a GT4, that's why we just fancied it. And it's really low miles as well, totally original. Uh, nothing has been done to it. So again, it's not been in the workshop as such. We had a good look, uh, sort of a little look at it when it first arrived. Um, so we'll see how that one goes. Obviously, you've got the Dame Conquest, which seems to have slowed down the tickets on the... Conquest, doesn't it? It done yeah. really, really well when we first launched it. Um, slowed down a little bit now. You've got a week to go on that one, but I'm pretty certain that this won't sell out. You never know, it might do, um, but I don't think it will. There's about 4,000 tickets left. So Chris, our paint shop manager, Hi, who's on annual leave, yeah. has said that's the best, Rob. So I think he means the Zephyr? Could be the Sleeker, could be the Daimler. Oh, I don't know. Which one's he worked on? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> That'll be he hasn't worked on the Zephyr. No. We one. haven't really done much to the Daimler, and right. we haven't done anything to the right. Celica. But Maybe it means the video is the best, Yes, I reckon. Yes, I reckon. So obviously you're used to seeing Molly on video. <laughs> She's away on holiday, which is rude. Um, so that's just me and Rob today. Oh, GT4, Chris said. Oh, right, GT4, yeah, OK. There you go. What he's saying, it's the best. But he said that's the best, yeah. Oh, the best of the three, maybe. Yeah. That's what he means. Simon says the Daimler is beautiful, too many tickets bought. <laughs> really? I don't know what I would say. What would you say is your best in here? I, I think it's the Zephyr for me. Would you? Yeah. Yeah. Zephyr. Or, or I do really like the 7, though. Oh, yeah. So the 7 is stunning. So the 7 we've looked after for many, many years. Um, the chap, he's just not going to drive it anymore. Um, so he, let, he asked us a couple of weeks ago whether we'd be interested in having it. Um, so we did. Molly's very excited about this one. She's not shot this one yet, is she? Yeah. 
Oh, was she? Yeah, okay. they did last well, week. Yeah. I've not seen the photos of it. So, yeah, that's going to be a really good one. I think that will do really well. Um, the one Dave has asked if the Zephyr is going to be a competition car. Everything in it. Absolutely everything you see in here will be a competition car or bike. Um, X, XKR is coming very soon. Uh, that's the supercharged. 914, so we went to a car show, local car show to here, massive car show to here at the weekend was Helmingham. Uh, this was on the stand, and this got a lot of attention. I mean, we nearly sold this. We tend not to sell cars, but uh, the amount of people that actually wanted to buy this on the day. So um, I think that will do well. It's very similar to sort of the Fiat look-wise yeah, that we did the uh, X19. last week. The X19. So Left-hand drive, eh? Yeah. We'll see. We've done a couple of left-hand drives in the past. Obviously, they don't make this in right, or if they do, it's going to be really impossible to get. But you always see them in left. Um, hasn't a left hand drive hasn't done brilliantly for us in the past but it's porsche it's got the porsche badge on it so hopefully so jason likes the 914 good excellent now the one that's interesting so the reason we've come on today is the bsa has got 19 tickets left pretty th certain it's going to sell out before four o'clock so grab your tickets um if you haven't got your tickets for the bsa yet because so i think that will go it's done really well that bike um I think it's, yeah, it's probably been our most successful bike yeah. to date. And the Royal Enfield that's next to it, which we'll have a look at. We can have a look at it now if you want. Yeah. Um, that's going to be launched very soon. Again, I mean, some of the people in the office said this won't be as desirable to the biking community as what a BSA is, and I suppose there is an argument for that. But again, we took this to Helmingham, um, and this got loads of attention. But obviously, it's not as valuable as the BSA, so it means ticket prices can possibly be a bit lower or certainly less tickets on it so the odds will be really good on the Royal Enfield um, once for nothing and it got loads of attention so I think that will probably do really well which bike would you have out of the two yeah Enfield probably would you yeah I like the colors and also I think I like the ride position so I've got the Ducati Scrambler Cafe Racer um, which is obviously a modern bike but that's got the low handles that's that, I, I suppose the BSA is probably going to be a nicer bike to ride because the handle's that bit higher. But this is, I think the Royal Enfield is a little bit more sleek. Yeah, I think I'd have that. Cool. Royal Enfield. Um, Jason says, unfortunately, it's six foot two. He probably won't fit in the 914. Take the roof off. <laughs> that is true, yeah. It's got no roof. Yeah, head can go here. Yeah. Perfect. No drama. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, MG is going to be an interesting one. So this is the 260, uh, which means Mustang engine. That's what's become very rare. So I guess you can look at it and go, oh, it's a Rover, or, oh, it's an MG. But it has got a beast of an engine underneath, um, which makes that quite rare. There's not many of them left. It's pretty much original. Um, if you're in the MG Owners Club, certainly around this area, you know of that car. Uh, Tony, who does all of our chroming here, uh, he said, oh, I know someone who's got a car like that, when it first arrived, and it turns out it was that car. The previous owner uh, was big in the MG world, so this car has been all over Suffolk and East Anglia. Um, it's very well known, but yeah, I think that's going to be special. Um, so Simon said he's normally a scooter man, but he's got tickets for the BSA because it reminds him of the police bike his dad used to ride. Yeah, so. well, I don't know what his dad used to ride, but yeah. it's very. And uh, Jason, at uh, six foot two, yeah. said that he'll get flies in his teeth without the roof on. Oh, of course, yeah, of course. Mm. But you would it. have a nine one four though, so. Yeah, true. Um, Adrian's come on saying, good morning all, where's Molly today? Molly's on holiday. Molly's gone to somewhere, mm. down south somewhere, Yeah, I think. She's back on Tuesday, don't, or not obviously today, she's back next Tuesday for the day, unless I don't panic. You've only got me and Rob and Nick today, but it will be brilliant. <laughs> it'll probably be the best I live reckon it'll draw be the best ever. Yeah, live yeah, you ever definitely. seen. There won't be any technical glitches. No, nothing. Um, we'll get it right um, first time. Chris Sarge says he loves the MG. Yeah, the MG's really nice. And Adrian says, happy holidays, Molly. So that's I don't nice. know if she's watching along. No. Comment along, Molly, if you're watching along. Yeah. Right, the other thing is this car here. So it's, um, this Jag is a, very, is a very, very special competition for us. We started talking about it a little bit um, yesterday, but you'll hear a lot more about it today. So we've teamed up with Cancer Support Suffolk. Um, we, as you probably know, if you've followed us for a while, um, we're quite close. A lot of people, you know, nowadays are quite close to the dreaded C word. Um, we are too. Um, there's been a lot of people here affected within the bridge classic cars 
team that have been affected by it in one way or another. Um, so we, we've we worked alongside Cancer Support Suffolk for a while. We did an absolutely incredible... Nick's not in here today. He'll be here at four o'clock. He put together an absolutely incredible video on YouTube. That if you haven't seen yet, watch it. I mean, it's an hour long, so um, it'll take up your whole lunch break, but it's well worth watching. Basically, we got a team that we all know, our friends, our colleagues, um, we put it on YouTube and it's just basically talking about how we've experienced cancer in one way or another. There's people sitting in the room that have got it, people that have had it, families, uh, family members that uh, talk about, you know, the experiences you have alongside a loved one who's got it. Mark Murphy, who um, is the, the chair of the charity, he got involved as well. And it was just, it was incredible, um, quite emotional. Uh, very emotional in fact, but it was an incredible video. So if you've got time to go onto our YouTube channel and watch that. Remind, is it the C word? You yes, just type and in C word Nick's Richard just kindly put a, a comment with the link. If you can watch that along and share it, superb. That will be that, that will mean a lot to us. Right, but going back to this. So we have decided there's a massive car show down here uh, raising money and raising awareness of, of cancer. Uh, we're the main sponsors of that and what we said at the time is we will give all of the proceeds of the, this car. So as our normal competitions, you know how many tickets are sold, you know how many tickets you have left because there's a limited amount of tickets. This one is the other way. We're basically going to keep this completely open-ended. Um, so as many tickets as we can possibly sell, obviously there's more money that we raise. Um, there is a guaranteed draw date. That date will never change. So the aim is for everybody to get involved. It's going to be £5 a ticket. Am I right in saying yes, that? Yes, correct. Uh, it's going to be £5 a ticket, so get involved, buy as many tickets as you, as you can afford. Obviously, you have the opportunity to win an incredible car. And all the, we've known this car for a while. We sold this many years ago to the gentleman who owned it until recently. He comes to all of our car shows, and he um, came in one day and said, he uses it daily, and he said, I'm, it's just time to, to let her go. Would we be interested? And we thought, well, this will be perfect. Uh, for everybody really to get involved. So yes, this is being launched tonight or just before our four o'clock draw uh, and this will be going on for probably two or three weeks, this car. So if you can get involved, um, whether you like the car or don't like the car, if you win the car and you want to then go and sell it on, great, but 100% of the proceeds of, um, of the sale of tickets for this car will go straight to Cancer Support Suffolk, which helps obviously a lot of people nowadays. But that's it really, there's no more questions the reason, the main reason for it is the BSA, when we first flicked the cameras on 10 minutes ago, we had 19, t only 19 tickets left. It's being given away at 4 o'clock this afternoon anyway. Maybe Molly is really good at this. There's still 19 tickets. No, no. <laughs> she, she won't let us um, lift that down. So there's 19 tickets left on this. 4 o'clock this afternoon is when we're, um, we're going to be giving this bike away. So there'll be, minus Molly, it'll be myself, Rob and Nick back on camera this afternoon. If you've got any questions between now and then, if you're watching this not live, then we'll try and um, either answer those questions live at four o'clock or, uh, or get back to you. But for now, we'll say goodbye and we'll see you this afternoon.